A minute, and then I went upstairs, so I didn't, I did not see her fight, no. How you feeling, Ben? You seem like you're on a cloud nine, man. I'm great. Yeah, you know, uh, obviously I didn't know if this opportunity would ever present itself to me. You know, we had the free agency period 2013. Um, haven't really had another opportunity since then for something like this to happen. And, you know, my whole, I love challenges. And that was like one of the most annoying things people say, oh, I don't want the challenge. Like, that is like literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I, I can remember being in seventh, eighth, eighth grade, ninth grade, being like, hey, dad, I know this kid's ranked like third in the country in Illinois. I need to go, we need to go wrestle this weekend. Let's go. You know, and so that's like, that's been my life. And so now to get the opportunity to fight these guys that are ranked above me, yeah, I, I am on Club Nine. I'm so excited for the challenge. Uh, and that's like from the heart, right? I can't, I can't wait to do this. Now you, you met with the UFC this weekend, right? Not really, not really, but I think the deal's done. I made, yeah, my manager took care of it. Have you signed anything yeah. yet? I've not signed anything. I'm, I'm going to though, pretty soon. When do, you, when do you think you'll fight? Uh, I don't know. I hope, probably not too long. I wouldn't assume. Before, you know, maybe before. early, probably not before the New Year's. Probably early next year sometime. I would guess. First quarter. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, you know, I haven't. Been, I when I retired, I said I said it. I meant it. You know, I haven't been training striking or jujitsu uh, since last November when I retired. I had. Uh, I was going to do, and maybe still am, going to do a wrestling tournament in December. So I started training on September first for that. My weights came down significantly. I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape, and so you know, this all kind of happened like a whirlwind. It was like boom, bam, pow. Hey, let's go fight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like okay, all right, and then uh, you know we got to work out the date, but I'm sure it's not going to be too long. Did you hear Danny get booed yesterday when they asked I him? I want to see video of it, but I, I didn't put it on Twitter. Someone sent me a video. No one sent me the video. Uh, it was yeah. funny. He answered anyway, funny. but he got booed when he declined. <laughs> That's well, you know, the people are waiting. I came in here and uh, I told them upstairs, it was like, man, it was like 19,000 old friends. Everyone's high five me, saying it's about time. Let's go. <laughs> this is long overdue. And it's just funny because I think, you know, if you go a long time back, I was not a fan favorite at all. And now people have kind of followed my journey and they see the struggle and they see the perseverance I've had. Um, and they can relate to that, right? And they love it and they want to see what's going to happen next. You haven't seen Dana yet this week? I have not. Where is he at? Cage okay, side. I didn't see him. I was over there. Maybe before the end of the night? You know, I would hope so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't hold grudges, so I'm, I'm hoping to clear anything that we had in the past. Um, obviously, I'm fighting here. and if. You know, if he doesn't want to be friends, and I can make him some money, and he can give me some good fights, then that's we can be mutually beneficial to each other. Are you still bluff? Um, let me check. Let me go live checking. All right, I can take next question while I'm checking. I'm, all, I'm a good multitasker. Do you think those boos yesterday were more about him not addressing you, or about them, you know, moving Demetrius shots? Still blocked. <laughs> uh, no, why would you? I mean, did, DJ wanted to go, right? I mean, this kind of all started snowballing at his request. You know, he wanted to go, so that was kind of what made it all start. So, no, I don't think any, if any fan has been actually following this, I don't think they feel that way. I think it's because, hey, listen, the news broke last, what, Thursday, Friday, somewhere, sometime, like, not two days ago, but like eight days ago or nine days ago. And it's like, you know, I'm, I, I, and I put this on Twitter, it's like, I'm, I got that girlfriend, but, and all my friends know about her, but I'm still a little embarrassed that I won't say, like, yeah, that's my girlfriend. That's kind of what it's like. You know what? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. What are they waiting on? I don't know what they're waiting on. It's ridiculous. You've, uh, you've narrowed your list down to potential opponents? No. I'm ready to kick the whole division's ass. No. It, take Tyron Woodley out. Anybody else. You know? And I, 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 I put a whole list of them. There's so many bums in this division that I want to beat up. Uh, I, Colby would be number one on my list. He's probably going to fight Tyron, so I can't. He's very, very... Uh, oh, man. He just... You know, I was talking about gimmick, I don't know if you guys got that on camera, I was talking about gimmick infringement. He just like takes the lowest common denominator of everything and he does that because he can't think of any of his own material. It's so pathetic. Uh, and then beyond that, he's not a very good fighter. He's wrestling significantly inferior to mine. Uh, who's number two? Help me Till. Out. Oh, Till. Till? Listen, they told Till I was coming. He said, damn, he's coming. I'm a middleweight. He moved up a weight class because I joined the division. Can you ima imagine that? This man said, Ben Ask is going to be at... Well, Dwight, damn, they start stuffing his face over there. Where does he live, London? Somewhere? Liverpool. 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 He's in Liverpool just stuffing his What does he eat over there? Fish and chips. Fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips. <laughs> all day long. Fish and chips. I'm a middleweight now. Uh, number three, he's busy, Dos Anjos. Uh, and you know, Wonder number boy. four and five, listen, I don't really have any issue with these guys, but I'm here to fight people. And so, you know, Thompson seems like a nice guy. Probably he's not going to work on me, so what, he can try it, whatever. Uh, and Lawler, he seems like a nice guy too. I actually like him, but I'll fight him. No, no big deal. So, you know, I hope they give me some, like, someone high rank. I picked on Till because he's the highest ranked guy available. He's ranked number two. Um, and we all know, obviously, my dream fight would be George, but 
George won't even answer Twitter, let alone get in a cage. So who, who knows what he's doing? What about the Diaz brothers? Oh, they're too high. I don't think they even realize what's going on right now. <laughs> I think they smoke so much weed that they don't realize I'm calling them out. Both That's them. it. Would you move Both to, of them. Would you move yeah. to 165 if the weight class came to be? I think 165 is going to happen. 165 and 175. Uh, me and Tyron both hold a belt, and whichever way he wants to go, I'll go the other way. I can comfortably fight either one of those divisions. Um, I think everyone wants it. I think it provides, from a business opportunity, right? Not, not just from me as a fighter. If I'm looking at it from a business opportunity, you now have, uh, you know, and they're talking about doing with the flyweights, but for the time being, you have an extra belt, right? Mm -hmm. And the other thing is it provides a lot of chances for uh, super fight opportunities. I mean, how many times have we had a sitting champion at one of those weight classes, 55, 75, 70, or 85? Go to fight another one, and the, I think the I think the answer is zero. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the answer is zero, uh, and so I think if you change 55, 65, 75, 85, man, that's a lot easier to move around. And I just know for myself, like I'm a 70 pounder. I can't make 50. I can't do it. I made 63, 163 for the Olympics. I I can't go lower than that. 185. I'm tiny up there, right? So I'm stuck, and that's a 30 pound gap. So it's not like that's a small yep. gap. Now, if you go 65, 75, I can make both of those. And I think you'd have like a Calvin Gaston could probably make a 75 and 85. You got a Khabib could fight 55, 65, right? And so you're going to have more of these super fights, more interdivisional stuff, which is good because what fans want to see, and one of the intrigue behind me is that they want to see shit they haven't seen before. And when you see the same guys fight over and over and over again, it's boring. We know, what, we know what's going to happen. So we want to see things that we have not seen before. It's one of the intrigue behind me. And I think if you created 55, 65, 75, 85, you would have a lot more of that happening. When you retired, you said, uh, I'm retiring with You were the there, Cabbage. Jim. Yeah, I was. Um, that was a good trip. You, you we had so much fun. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> um, you retired with the caveat that uh, you wanted, you would only come back if you could prove you're the best in the world. Yeah. So what is that kind of journey to be proving you're the best in the world? Look? Yeah, I'm hoping it's not going to take too long. I'm hoping, you know, it's, you know, obviously I'm not going to get tired as a champion, so we're going to fight. They're not going to give me Khabib. That would be fantastic if they did that, but I don't see, see that happening. Um, George is retired from Twitter also. Except for Tom Winkotch, I mean, that was kind of cute, right? I mean, but he's, you know, he's not responding to anything else. Um, and so I'm gonna get someone in the top five, and then where do you go from, the, I can only go up from there, I can't go down, right? When I beat him up, I'm gonna go up, and then there's not very far to the top, it's just a little ways, so, yeah. Who Hopefully do you think is the realistic guy then? Who do you reckon they're gonna give you? If you're the uh, UFC. Well, I think it's, th it's three, right? It's, it's uh, I said Till, Thompson and uh, Lawler. Till took himself out of the running because he ate too much food. He's he... been calling you out though. No, but, uh, yeah, publicly, but then privately he's pretty scared. How do you know that? I, prom I, I just know these things. I promise you. Listen, there's one, Jim, you know me. There's one thing I do. Yeah. I will not lie. That is factual. Darren Till does not want a piece of me. Okay, that, that is completely factual. So you have Thompson and Lawler. They both have open dance cards. I will take you to one of them. Um, McGregor said he supports the 165 division and that he'd probably want to fight there at some point. Would you fight him at 165? It's probably one of the few things we agree on. Listen, can, Connor has so much money. And, you know, this dumb dumb, I don't even know what his wealth This was some other wealth weight. He said, like, your styles, no, it doesn't scare anyone. Listen, yes, it does. The, the last thing someone who walks on a tough guy and fights in a cage for a living wants to do is be completely emasculated. And that's what I do to you. Listen, I hold you down for as long as I want, I punch you as many times as you want, and there's not an effing thing you can do about it. And that is so completely emasculating. That steals your manhood. That is a feeling that none of those guys ever want to feel in their life. And Connor has enough money, but he would never risk that. And then what do you think is... between you and Khabib would go if you do get matched up with him? That's going to be a blast. I hope it happens. I think I am Khabib, just a little better, a little bigger, a little funkier. That's it. I'm sorry, what do you yeah. think is different now with the UFC? Why do they want you now and they didn't want you a few years ago? Uh, well, I don't even, I, listen, I got my suspicions why they didn't want me a few years ago, but I don't have a real answer. So that's something you got to ask somebody else. Um, you know, a marketable fighter, who can, I think I can speak pretty well, I mean, my English is fairly good, uh, who's 12-0, and 0, who's an Olympian, who's an NCAA champion, that seems like uh, a no-brainer slam dunk, right? But for some reason they passed. Again, I have my suspicions. I can't tell you for sure. You gotta ask other people that question. Uh, so I think what happened now was their hand was kind of forced. I mean, if you guys were following any kind of social media, you know, Joe Rogan did a big part by having me on the show and it's like, it, you know, in snippets you can get a certain version of me. And when people very high up with a lot of push and a lot of followers are saying things that aren't true about me, you can get a certain version of me. When you get me talking for two hours, you realize this is like a normal, likable, hardworking guy. There's really not much to dislike about this guy. And that's what people saw. 
and people saw that side of me and then there was just this push and I think the second thing that compounds that is that I'm 18 and 0, right? That's a weird ending to the story since I haven't fought anyone, you know, I'm ranked what, 6 to 8, I haven't fought anyone above me. That's a weird ending to the story. No one, people want the story to end, right? They don't want to like read halfway through the book and then the rest of the book gets burned like, oh, I guess I'm done. They don't want that, right? They want to know what else happens. And that's so those two things compounded together uh, made for this to happen. It was the people. Can you please explain uh, this, this shirt? It's a fantastic shirt. Yeah, it was that, okay. So, is that um, young Ben Astor on the shirt? This is, uh, I think I'm like 17 or 18. So it's really funny. This was the first shirt, not this specific shirt. My buddy back in 2000 and, oh shoot, we're going way back. Seven, six, seven, seven when I graduated. Um, he came over the Sunday before NCAs, and he had freaking, he's hilarious, his name's Marcus. He had cut out my head, and he had freaking sponge stamped it onto a t-shirt. <laughs> and he wore it, he made five of his buddies, him and the buddies wore it to the NCAA championship. He had so many requests, we sold a thousand of them that summer. For college kids, that's some, that's some decent change, you know? Uh, and then, so now there's been a few incarnations of it since then. Um, and, you know, I gotta represent, right? If, if UFC ain't gonna give me press, Dana ain't gonna give me press, I'm gonna give myself press. The Rudis shirt. This is the Rudis shirt. Greatest brand in wrestling. Yeah. That's all the world. <laughs> Will we see this hairstyle uh, grown out again? Oh, I'm too old and mature for this now. <laughs> Come on, yeah, that's younger me. I couldn't do it again. Ben, what, uh, what wrestling tournament were you planning on doing? Uh, I was gonna do the Midlands, and I, depending on my fight date, I'm still gonna push to be able to do it. I love wrestling. I missed it. I haven't wrestled a folk style match since 2007. Um, and the guy that the guy that uh, who's ranked number one in the country was also gonna be at that tournament. He's really really good, and so I was kind of you know interested to see how I was still fair because he's not only good for the collegiate level. He was the runner up to make the world team, and then the guy who actually made the world team above him, he won the world championships in the United States. So he's really really good. So I was looking forward to that. Uh, depending on my fight date, I really hope I get something that can happen. My weights came way down. Uh, my wrestling is pretty on point right now, so we'll see. Ben, you'll be making question? more. Uh, two more questions. You may be making more money with the UFC with this new contract than you were with with one. Oh, I, am I supposed to comment on that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. You said you'd never lie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I answer every question, though. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Lastly, just, um, I guess, what's the message to the rest of the welterweight division who are going to be watching this? I think I gave them the message like 40 times on Twitter, and these dumb dumbs are too stupid to respond. They're all scared. They're shaking their boots. It's been like, I, it's like, okay, it's like one of those old cowboy movies, you know? And you got your guns drawn, and you got you know you get you a little pumped up. You want to walk in the town, you're ready to start shooting everybody and, and fighting. You walk in the town, and all of a sudden there's nobody there. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Like two months ago, everyone out here was getting pretty lippy. Now I come to town, and I can't find anybody. That's what it's like. <clears throat> Step up. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, Ben. Yep. Thanks.